there, Trader Infinity Pop. Big D back here again with another weekly news announcement, and this is for March nineteenth, which is tomorrow. Um, so if you've never been, if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is every week I like to do on Mondays a video where I talk about what's coming out this week, what's coming out next week, anything that was announced over the last week. I also like at the very end of the video I like to show you some of the pickups I did from the the, the previous week. Uh, so let's get, let's get started. All right, so this week not a very big week. There are two major titles coming out this week, but otherwise there's not much else. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the smaller titles and work up to the bigger titles in this one. So tomorrow we have a movie called Losing It. I think it's put out by Kino. Um, starting Tom Cruise and Sherry Long. It's a movie from the 80s that comes up tomorrow. Arrow Video is re releasing a movie tomorrow uh, called Strip Nude for Your Killer. I have no idea, but I do love it. I've come to really love Arrow's product, what they're doing with their movies. I think it's absolutely fabulous. So I forgot to mention that. Also tomorrow, uh, Warner Archives is releasing Cleopatra Jones. So if you're really into that, of course you'll have to get it off of um, either the Warner Brothers website or I think you might be able to get that on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. As for the Arrow and the Losing It, Amazon, I doubt you're going to find those anywhere in stores. Um, especially now that Fry's is kind of getting rid of everything. Um, tomorrow also, Shout Factory is releasing um, Ma Mantis, The Deadly Mantis, along with uh, Born in East L.A., which she's a movie. The cool thing about The Deadly Mantis is, and I just, I just, I just found this out today... There's, they actually put the MST3K episode attached to this. So the Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys did an actual episode where they did their parry and, and capped on this movie. They actually add that on to the movie, which I thought was really cool. So you can watch the movie, then you can watch what they have, how they ripped it apart. So I thought that was really cool. I actually kind of want to get that now because of that. Um, also tomorrow, um, and those probably, again, will either have to buy them on Shout Factory's website or you'll have to go to um, Amazon on that. Also tomorrow, Lord of War 4K comes out. You'll be able to find that everywhere. I don't think there's going to be a problem finding that one. Then the two big titles coming out tomorrow. The first one is Mary Poppins Returns. Now that's going to be, uh, that's a wide release. So you're looking at, um, there's a DVD, Blu-ray, there is a 4K. Best Buy has a steel book. Um, uh, Target has a digi book for it. Walmart's got their little, they put, they do their movies, they put the little keychains, the Funko keychains in there. So, there's that and then um so that's all coming out there. also along with that best buy is re-releasing tomorrow um mary poppins the original mary poppins in a steelbook form as well so if this is a perfect opportunity if you're a big fan of both mary po harry potter harry potter <laughs> mary poppins movies um you can get both of them and get both of them on steelbooks that's pretty cool and the big 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 title for me tomorrow at least anyways is spider-man into the spider-verse does come out tomorrow there's a whole, whole bunch of different collections out there of um, different types of uh, movies out there for this one tomorrow. Different, uh, uh, boy, my brain has just gone. Um, different types of, you know, different versions of it out there tomorrow. So, like, for instance, there is a steel book um, by Best Buy. There is a digi book by Target. There is the, the Walmart exclusive, which is the little Funko thing. But also uh, Amazon.com has an exclusive, too, which actually looks pretty good. I'm a little leery about that one though, and I'm actually probably gonna go for the steel book just because I bought the Spider-Man, the last Spider-Man movie, the, the Amazon exclusive, and it ended up being this really stupid face thing that like kind of blinks. Uh, yeah, I wasn't happy with it. I thought it'd be a lot cooler. I wish I'd have gotten the steel book. I did get a steel book later on, but I wasn't really happy with that. So because I can't see it first with Amazon, they show you a little picture, but you don't quite know what it is. I'm a little leery, but that is available tomorrow. Um and uh, again, Steelbook, 4K, DVD, Blu-ray, the whole nine yards. It's going to be everywhere tomorrow. I don't think you're going to have a problem finding that anywhere tomorrow. Um, so that is it for tomorrow. Again, a couple minor titles, two big titles, but not a whole lot. So people like me are like, sweet, I'm not going to be spending a whole lot tomorrow. <laughs> so let's talk about next week. Now, next week is a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, a little bit bigger. So we do have quite a few, quite a few catalog titles coming out next week, along with... Um, one really big movie. So let's talk about this. First off, we have um, Sony Pictures releasing is releasing White Knights and the Squeeze um, next week. Uh, let's see. Shell Factor is releasing Warning Sign and Brighton Beach Memoirs. Um, let's see here. Um, another movie coming out tomorrow is If Beale Street Could Talk. I have no idea. It looks interesting. Have I, I think I kind of heard it before. I'm not really sure what movie that movie is. Stan and Ollie comes out next week, which is obviously the movie about... Um, Laurel and Hardy. Um, MVD is releasing Nemesis 2 through 4. It's a, like all three movies in one set next week. Mill Creek. Okay, let me, let me talk about Mill Creek here for a second. 
every couple weeks I'm telling you, hey, the movies are coming out. Hey, the movies are coming out. Yeah, every time I turn around, they're delayed. So last week, only one Mill Creek title came out. The other ones were now delayed until next week. So Sheena and Songwriter will be out next week, so they say. Um, um, also, I'm really stoked on this because I really want to get this thing. I've already got it pre-ordered. Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner is coming out on Blu-ray. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Um, let's see here. And then we have, um, Pet Cemetery is being re-released. It's, it's the original, not the, not the movie coming out. I want to say it's a couple weeks, which I hear so far is getting really good reviews. My one review I heard said that it was a, it was the best adaptation of a Stephen, Stephen King book that anybody's ever seen before. So I'm really curious. Um, but the original is coming out in Steelbook. Now, there's a couple different Steelbooks out there. There's a Steelbook Best Buy is going to have. There's also a Steelbook that um, FYE is going to have. And there's another Steelbook. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I almost want to say one more, but I think I'm wrong on that. But there's a third Steelbook I saw out there for this movie. So there's three different versions, Steelbook-wise, of this movie. It's also being re-released on standard Blu-ray DVD as well. But... The steelbooks look really cool. Matter of fact, my wife got me the FYE exclusive steelbook. She got it me for Valentine's Day. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. Hopefully I can get that this week. Um, and then let's see here. We also have um, Second Act with J-Lo coming out next week. And uh, let's see here. The big title. And this is the big one. Aquaman does come out next week. I have been waiting for this movie since I saw it in theater in December. I'm really stoked. So Aquaman does come out next week. Now there's going to be a bunch of different versions of that as well. Um, there's your standard Blu-ray, there's your DVD, there's a 3D D Blu-ray coming out, which is a, which is pretty sweet, because they're really scaling back on 3D now. 3D, there is, of course, a Blu-ray, there's a Blu-ray steelbook, and there's a 4K steelbook, so there's two different steelbooks, where they look the same, just one has the 4K, one has the Blu-ray. Um, those are Best Buy exclusives. Obviously, uh, Target's going to have the uh, Walmart uh, Digibook, which I will be getting. When it comes to DC movies, I do get the Steelbook, I do get the Digibook. And one of these days, I'm going to show you my collection of Digibooks for the superhero movies that I have. Um, and then there's also, and then I believe, again, Walmart will have their little Funko Pop guy up there, too. So that's it for next week. Next week's a, it's a lot of random titles coming out next week. I'm really stoked about Aquaman, obviously. And I'm, I really can't wait for Aquaman. I'm a big DC fan, obviously. I don't know if you've ever seen I always wear my Superman ring. So, um, big DC fan, really looking forward to that. Kingdom of the Spiders, looking forward to that one. Actually, quite a bit. I want to get Warning Sign. That was a good movie. Most of these, unfortunately, will be found only on Amazon or whatever manufacturers putting them out, with the exception of Aquaman Pet Cemetery. You should be able to find those at Best Buy. Or, I'm not sure if Pet Cemetery will be at Target, because Target scaled back so much. But, um, you should be able to find those next week. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about what was announced. Now, Nothing major was announced. Nothing like huge, like, you know, hey, the new Infinity War movie, not Infinity War, but the new Endgame movie coming out. Or something like that. Nothing that scale, coming out, or Captain Marvel's coming out now. No, nothing on that scale, but quite a bit of pretty cool stuff. So Criterion announced a bunch of titles coming out in June. Uh, they announced War and Peace, uh, Swing Time, a film trilogy of Igmar Berman, and then also um, Hedwig the Angry Inch. And it's funny, Hedwig, Hedwig the Angry Inch is really funny. Because I remember when I used to I used to manage a Sunco store, you know, the movie store in the mall back in the day. That was always a really popular title. People come in all the time asking for that movie. So I'm 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 surprised it's if it is on a Blu-ray, uh, I think it's out of print, but I'm surprised it took Criterion this long to get to that movie. Also, um, what was announced, uh, some 4K titles, Backdraft, the original Backdraft with Kurt Russell has been announced for uh, May 7th. We have a movie called Arctic, which is coming out on the 30th of April. The Natural, which is a great movie. Love that movie. Baseball, I love baseball movies. Um, the Natural 4K Special Edition has come out on June 4th. Then my favorite of all time, besides Major League, my favorite baseball movie of all time, Field of Dreams, is coming out in 4K. That'll be out on May 14th. My understanding is there is a Best Buy is going to have an exclusive steelbook for that one. So be on the lookout for that because I am totally going to get that. I love Phil Jones. That is a great, great movie. Um, NVD has announced that they're going to release a movie called Split Second with Rucker Howard. I do remember that movie. That this alien creature and he's like trying to follow it. And it's been a while since I've seen it. But I remember I really liked it a lot. It's going to come out this year. They don't have an exact date for it yet, but apparently they just acquired the rights for it. Um, let's see here. Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that's going to have a 4K release on it too. 
I've seen the trailer. You should check it out on YouTube. Um, the trailer, it actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of interested. I've always been, I always liked Ninja Turtles and I've always liked Batman, so why not? And it's really cool because they have like Shredder in there. The, tr the preview shows like Shredder and it shows like the Foot Clan, but it also shows like the Penguin and the Joker. So it's like a combination of uh, like all their bad guys and all the good guys all put into one. So I, love, I think this guy should be pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Um, Backdraft 2. Yes, they have made a sequel. Direct to DVD. Um, that will be out on the 14th of, of May. So like a week after the 4K release of Backdraft comes out. We also have Better Call Saul Season 4 coming out on the 7th of May. Crank 4K, the Jason Statham cra classic, 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 comes out on the 21st of May. And then the last title I'd like to talk to you about, um, Excuse me, and I just lost it here. Oh, the last time I talked about two titles coming out. Now, a couple months ago, I bought this thing off Amazon called the Andy Sedaris Collection. If you don't know who Andy Sedaris is, he made a bunch of these cheesy movies in the 80s and 90s. And they were these action flicks that were really over-the-top action flicks. It was over-the-top action. There was some scantily clad women in the, in the movies. The acting was pretty bad. All, but, but the theatrical quality was really good to him. They actually have pretty good production value to him. But they're just, they're really cheesy. And they used to show on, like, I actually saw one of these at the drive-in one time. It was it would always be the second movie to drive-in, you know? Or a lot of times they end up on Cinemax or they end up on HBO Late Night and they would be on. So they're releasing two of these Andy Sedaris movies on the Blu-ray. And I'm so stoked about it. Um, let's see, Malibu Express and Hard Ticket to Hawaii are both coming out uh, the 16th of April. If you've never seen these movies before, they're absolutely awesome. If you love cheesy B-rated movies like I do, I'm a big fan of those movies. These movies are so over the top, they're so ridiculous, but they're great. And you just they use the same actors in every movie, they change their names. There's this one guy named Rodrigo, his real name is Rodrigo, and he uses the name Rodrigo in most of his movies. I'm a big fan of Rodrigo's, that guy is awesome. Um, they're just really cheesy. They're just, they're, they're one of those movies you don't have to think at all to watch them. I mean, the, the, the Heart Take to Hawaii has this, this rabid snake that's like a mutant snake that go around. It has no, it doesn't involve the plot whatsoever other than the fact that it takes out somebody at the end of the movie. But it's like, it's, it's just this, it's this pure cheese. It's just unbelievable cheese. Like I said, the acting is like, oh my lord, did he just say that? But they're so much fun to watch. And there's like, I even made my, my wife actually watch a couple of them with me and, he, and she actually got into them because we're just sitting there riffing off each other. Like, look at this one. Oh, really? Like, they use the same guns in every movie. And I'm going to do a whole, I'm actually going to do, um, a whole retrospective on Andy Sedaris, um, cause I actually finished watching all of his movies recently. So I'm going to do a whole retrospective on the Andy Sedaris collection that I own. I think I'm going to wait though till the, the two, um, next month though, until the, uh, the two new ones come out in Blu-ray, cause I really want to see them in Blu-ray, cause I'm really curious to see how much they cleaned them up. My understanding is Mill Creek did a pretty good job of making these look a lot better. They've added special features. I can't wait to see the special features in this thing. But those two are coming out next month, so be on the lookout for those if you love cheese. And that's it. That's coming out this week. Next week it was announced. Now let's move on to what did I pick up last week. Well, I only picked up a few things. Now I did pick up some stuff on the Fry Sale with the uh, um, the Arrow video, but those pickups will be in another video later this week. I'm actually just just as an FYI with that too, and I'll mention it again when I do that video too. Is that sale is still going on? You can't really get much online anymore, but if you go in the stores, those movies are still there. That's exactly what I did. So um, I'll, but I'll have a video for that later on this week. But let's talk about what I did pick up this week. So I did pick up a couple movies. First time I picked up Mortal Engines on Blu-ray. I was going to get the 4K, but I decided not to. I got to say, I watched this yesterday. I actually really liked it. It's a little slow in a few parts, but I actually the, the, the visual effects are out of control amazing. But I actually kind of really like this movie. And I'm really bummed because my understanding is it's supposed to be a three-part movie. And it did so bad in theaters, you'll never see part two or three. But it was I, I give it a chance. I mean, Red on Redbox or... Wait till it comes out on Netflix or something like that. But I guarantee you probably will like this. It's actually a really good movie. Next it picked up. Ah, this is the one Mill Creek video I did get. And that was Neighbors. I watched this one yesterday too. I forgot how much I love this movie. This movie is great. I was always, as a kid, even as an adult, I was a big fan of John Belushi. I just think that John Belushi was just comedic gold. Um, so, and in da but Dan Aykroyd, I mean, you can't go wrong with John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. You just can't. This is a really good movie. There's not much of a plot to this. It's just about these people that move in next door and they just drive this guy nuts. But it's it's really fun. There's a lot of it resembles like the Burbs, like later on, you know. They, obviously, they changed some things, but there's a lot of similarities between this movie and the Burbs. But um, I really did enjoy this movie. It was really cool. It's got that it's got that really cool retro slip cover. The the um the VHS slip cover. The cool thing is when you pop it off, the actual cover is different. 
So the actual Blu-ray cover is actually different than the, the box. I really appreciate that. I, I think that the, that Mill Creek is re really goes above and beyond with these things. They do a really good job. This has never been available on Blu-ray before, so it's really cool to have this on Blu-ray. So bit of that. And the last thing I did pick up was, of course, yes, the, uh, <laughs> the Fantastic Beasts Part 2, I'm going to call it, because I... The crimes are Grindelwald. I, I, I don't think I'm even saying that right. But you picked this up on Steelbook. It's a really nice Steelbook. It's beautiful. Um, I saw this movie in the theater. I did like this. Although, I do warn you with this movie, it's very, very, very dark. It's, it's like with the Harry Potter movies, the first movie was really like, hey, everybody was so great. And things are so, you know, it's, it's so whimsical and so magical. And then, of course, the next, you know, what, seven movies, it gets darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. Uh-uh. The first movie in this series was pretty whimsical, but it's a little dark. This one just went straight dark. There is no whimsical. There's no... This movie's a dark movie. So, um, B4 one with that. It is really good. The special effects are really good in this movie. Um, the acting is really well done. I like Ezra Miller in this movie. But um, just be forewarned, it is a little bit dark. I, I don't know if I would necessarily show it to kids under, like, 10 years old. Maybe it... it it can be a little frightening, actually. So, and it's not a scary beast or anything like that. It's just, it's a very dark tone to it. It's very, I wouldn't equate like Empire Strikes Back because that is the greatest dark tone movie of my, in my, my my opinion. But it it is pretty, it is pretty dark. And I think for especially for a movie like Harry Potter, where these Harry Potter type movies where a lot of kids go to because they really enjoy them. Uh, yeah, I I would suggest a little a little bit of you know um, just be just be a little bit careful with it. That's all I have to say. So that is it. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Leave me some comments down below. Any of these movies you picked up last week? What about this week? Can you pick up anything that's coming out? What are you excited about? Anything that's been announced? Thank you guys all for watching. Click that um, subscribe button if you want to see more videos by D Big D. The bell. Um, if you click the bell, it, allows, it notifies you when I do put up a video. You guys are all awesome. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, everybody take care out there. Um, always keep hunting because honestly, you just never know what you're going to find. Although I got I to gotta admit, I really didn't hunt too much last week because of a busy week. But um, thank you guys all for watching. And as always, live long and prosper.